to Blossom School House. I'm here with another math curriculum video for you today because we just got our Simply Good and Beautiful Math Level 1. If you're like me, I've been waiting and stalking the Good and the Beautiful's website for this curriculum. So to have it finally in our hands is just so exciting. And I'm going to show you everything in the course book and in the math box too. The Good and the Beautiful have completely redone their math. They've simplified, they've simplified the math box, they've simplified the course book. As you may be aware already, there used to be two course books about this size. There is now one. There's 120 lessons in the whole course and it should last you the whole year. So if you've seen my Simply Good and Beautiful Math 2 video, then this is going to be very similar. Uh, I'm just going to take you through the the level one course book and the math one box as well. First up, we're going to look at the math box. First thing to notice is that the lid has a clock the same as math box two with movable hands, but on the other side is a magnetic whiteboard. And this is for writing practice, I think, and as well as that, these pattern blocks that are also magnetized. And I believe that they follow pictures with patterns and they try to match it up themselves. Next in here we have these six-sided wooden dice and a left and right dice. I'm not sure what this one is going to be used for yet, but we will see in the coming lessons. So you've obviously got all of your pattern block shapes here as well. And then we've got these cute little ships and submarines that are all numbered. And they appear to be in the two times tables in even numbers. So I'm guessing they're going to be used for a few lessons as well. Then these lovely double-sided wooden clocks. So some of them are yellow on one side and some of them are blue. Again, I'm not sure what that is for yet, but we will find out. And then we've just got American coins, which I'm going to just switch out for our UK coins. So that's it, another really simple but meaningful math box for the math one. So that is the math box and now I'm going to show you the course book. Yeah, this is actually spiral bound, but the books for level two and above, they have the lay flat binding. I'm not sure which I prefer yet. I will keep you posted on that, but to be honest, it doesn't matter hugely to us. So we have another simplified course book. There are 120 lessons. As you can see, I've already filled out a couple of bits down here. My goal is to get them motivated to complete each unit by putting a little do a fun thing at the end of each unit. And this can just be something simple like baking, drawing a picture together, going for a bike ride. I saw another mum on Instagram do that and I just loved it so. I've already filled that out. But other than that, we haven't touched this course book yet. So we have our hundreds chart at the front about the course and the frequently asked questions again, and then the unit overview. So this is the overview for unit one. I actually really like these tips and value having them. No extra supplies needed for unit one. All your concepts taught in this unit laid out for you so that you're aware. And then we jump into lesson one. Just as with the level two, we have this box at the beginning of the lesson and it is a quick warm up or review. You can glance at it and if you feel that your child has already fully mastered what's in there, you can skip it. And if you think that they would benefit from doing it, you can just get them to do that quick review work and then jump into your lesson. You read the black writing aloud to the child. It's fully scripted, so you can open this book and go. You don't need to know anything ahead of time. You tick off each section as you've completed it, and then you just have a simple review sheet for them to do independently, or you can help them if you want to or feel that they need it. And then you just go on to lesson two. Same thing again, small review box at the beginning and then straight into your lesson. And as you have completed each section, you can tick it off. This is the review part here for the child at the end of the lesson. And it's double sided as well. So there's a bit of independent review there. And then lesson three. And the whole book continues the same. 
I just love these beautifully illustrated games and activity sheets that are all through the course. So they're working on their clock practice in the level one as well. We have already been doing clockwork with Miss Five, who will be turning six this month, actually. Um, she is starting this level one and it is aimed at first grade. Unlike the language arts that is advanced in its grading, the math is supposed to be quite accurate to grade. So level one is technically equivalent to grade one and in the UK it's slightly different so she would have been in reception she's just finishing technically year one and she'll be going into year two which is the equivalent of grade one or first grade so this is the exact level that she should be using I did give her the assessment though because we don't really go by grade or school year I gave her the assessment for this level and for the level K. Level K was super easy and level one, she just did the assessment completely fine. So I knew this would be a great fit for her. More beautiful games and activities. The whole course is very colorful. Everything is fun. There's animals, there's people, there's cute illustrations that are engaging. It's just so, so super fun bright and colourful, everything you want to make math fun for your child. As I mentioned in my video on the level two, there is American money featured in this course book. Now it's very simple. I will take some of our coins and roughly place the equivalent of the coins on top so that they are looking at the UK coins, not the American. Or if it doesn't quite work and it seems confusing, my other plan is to just put a piece of paper down. So this, for example, has some rocks. I will just gather a couple of rocks that we have or gemstones or something similar, place them like this with the coins underneath on a piece of paper and then just get them to write the answer in the boxes in the course book. If you wanted to, you could just simply supplement that part of the lesson for a UK money math workbook. We love the DK Carol Waterman ones. They are really good. And also the Oxford. Here's another example. I would just turn this into a P, cross that out and put a P at the end for pence instead of cents. And then there aren't really any other issues. Of all the math curriculums we have looked at and have tried, this is by far the most fun, pretty and colourful math that we have found. Say what you want to say to me now I want to wake up with you another very beautiful math curriculum. So that is the course book and the math box for the Simply Good and Beautiful Math 1. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you have any other questions about this course or about the, the Good and the Beautiful then just leave me a comment and I'll be sure to answer it for you.